Officials from WSP Caribbean accompanied Suriname's Minister of Public Works, Dr. Riyad Nur Mohammed, for a meeting in Georgetown on Wednesday with Ghana's Minister of Public Works, Juan Ejo. The second decision makers meeting and final closeout engagement with WSB was held at the ministry's Wrights Lane Kingston location. It officially brought an end to the consultancy phase for design and feasibility studies for the Currentine River Bridge. Although Guyana was signatory to the project, it was mainly funded by the government of Suriname. A presentation was done by officials of WSB to the high level decision makers meeting. The bridge will feature 119 spans, allow for two lanes in regular conditions and three lanes in emergency or controlled conditions. It carries an important collision protection mechanism. Minister Edgel said he was happy to be provided with the information even before the final report is readied so that it can be shared early with the qualified and shortlisted firms. The China Harbor Engineering Company Czech, which worked on the expansion of the Chedi Jacon International Airport, is among five companies shortlisted to build the Currentine Bridge. Those firms are expected to put in their financial bids by the end of July, with a closing date set for August 1, 2023. Edgel is hopeful a final contract can be awarded by October 2023 and the mobilization and actual construction to start by year end. Belief that both President Ali, who I represent and speak for here today, and I am aware because I sat in meetings with him and President Santoki, that this is a project that should not suffer any delays. As a matter of fact, we need to be moving it along. And that is one of the reasons why we provided information ahead of the final report um, to get things moving so that we could have submissions um, at this time. Final costs will be determined by what the bidder is proposing in terms of the bridge capacity. But WSB has pegged the estimated total cost at US $611 million. Actual construction cost is estimated at just over US $500 million. The evaluation period is 33 years, 3 years for construction and 30 years of operation. The Curtin River Bridge will be constructed via a public-private partnership arrangement and according to the design, build, finance, operate, maintain model. This means that the successful contractor of joint venture will be responsible for its final design, construction, financing, operation and maintenance. Stress perhaps at the time is short and as uh, my colleague Mr. Eschel uh, said um, it's uh, <coughs> the building the bridge is very high on the agenda of both countries, not only for the concept, for the development of the region. So um, um, from our side, we will uh, continue our work based on what <coughs> the studies have said and the reports. But um, yes, again, thanks. It was previously noted that once the contract is awarded for the construction of the bridge, the project should be completed within three years. The durability of the bridge should be 100 years. Both governments have jointly agreed to construct the bridge using the public-private partnership method of procurement. Once completed, the bridge will transform travel between Guyana and Suriname, forge greater cultural bonds and knowledge-sharing activities as well as improve economic activities. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.